Hi. This video is about facing your fears and before I talk about that anymore I wanted to show you something I was up to last week to set the scene. Check this out. This video is about facing your fears. Alright guys, interlock your fingers like this. Put it behind your head. Make sure your elbows stay forward and cross your ankles. I'm going to shut the door, okay? Okay, so that was me last week, I think it was, at a water park uh, we stopped at. And I didn't feel like doing it. Um, I've been on a few of the other rides, and then at the end of the day, I said, I gotta do it. Like, I'm, you know, I gotta face the fear. So I walked up, it was the tallest one out of all of them, walked to the top of the stairs. And it wasn't, funnily enough, there wasn't many people on this ride, it was kind of sparsely populated. So I got to the top, and uh, I noticed that a lot of people were turning around. This thing, uh, was a kind of a tube standing up on its end and it would encapsulate you inside the tube and the door would shut as you saw in the video. So uh, it scared people a lot and it scared me a little bit and uh, when I got to the top of the steps I just sat there in the feeling for a moment and felt those familiar feelings but in this case kind of natural, naturally brought on um, and and kind of just sat through it and waited for it to pass and, and continued anyway to do the ride. I actually did it twice. I did it once and I was like i got to film this, because um, it'd be fun for people to watch. So I did. I also noticed that, you know, from a, from a fear point of view, probably one in three, one in four of the people who went to the top of this ride got to the top, turned around and went back again. Some of them actually got into the thing, got into the device, the door shut, and then the lifeguard or the attendant or whoever they was said, okay, good to go. And the person's like, no, get me out of here. Um, so they, they bailed and they didn't do it. So the point of this, and I think it's a good analogy for anxiety, um, because that was real fear, right? You're scared, you don't know what's gonna happen, you don't know how scary it's gonna be. The reality is, is that you probably know it's a safe environment um, in most cases. Um, but the point is, is that often when you get very close to the thing that you're afraid of, that's when the anxious feelings come on. For some people that's going to the supermarket, for some people that's you know walking past the end of the road. It's really noisy here at the moment. There's a tractor going past. Uh, there you go. Uh, but whatever it is, um, you kind of have to get to the tipping point of saying, yes, I'm going to do it. I give the thumbs up to the lifeguard and just let it take you. Or say no and go backwards. And every time we say no, we're giving into the anxiety. We're giving it power and we're regressing a little bit. So my suggestion is to you is when you, you know, I don't say facing the fear like a lot of people who don't understand anxiety will say, yeah, face your fears and patronize you. I don't mean that. I mean, when you get to the, the feeling of anxiety, you know, feel those feelings and just, you know, hang out in it for a minute, sit in it for a minute. And, and that's how you can start to move through it and take that extra step and stay the extra few minutes. And each time, if you build on that and face the fear over time, eventually you'll be able to, to do the whole task, whatever it is, drive the car, go to the store, walk as far as you want you know, go to work, whatever's holding you back, um, go to the pub and meet people. Just stay that extra bit of time, sit in the feelings for a while. The feelings will go away. They always do, right? So that's what I mean by facing your fear. It doesn't have to be a dramatic jumping out of an airplane, um, but it just has to be getting used to the feelings that we're familiar with. And as I talked about in the past, being comfortable with them and, you know, they dissipate, you overcome it and you, you begin to move on. So hopefully you found that useful. If not, hopefully you found it amusing. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.